how to make a perfect graph. We're going to use some data, some fake data, distance and time, to make a graph that might show us velocity. Let's open up the file that has our data. There it is, kind of in a raw form. What we'd like to do here is fix this particular column, which has numbers of different precision. Some have two decimal places, some have one decimal place, some have no decimal places. I'm going to drag on all of that column there, right click, and then format cells. We want to change how the number is presented. Oh good, it's already selected to two decimal places. That's what we want. Click OK. Ah, much better. Everything is to the hundredths place. The distances are fine, so that's all set. You know what? I just want to make this look a little bit nicer. I'm going to select everything here. And up here, I can center it top to bottom. That doesn't make much difference. Center it left to right. Well, that's kind of nice. I might increase the font size a little bit. Oops, now that I do that, if I double click between the columns, it'll automatically pick the column width. Alright, I've obsessed enough with that. The data looks fine. One more thing perhaps, I'd like to put a border around all the cells. Alright, that's fine. Now let me select the data itself. And we are now going to insert a graph graph, not a line graph, but just a plain old scatter graph with just the markers for the data, no lines. It looks like that. Before we go any further, I think I might like to right click in the chart area where it says move chart we'd like to create a new sheet and call it the graph okay hit enter oh look you see down here on the lower left the graph is a new sheet in the worksheet that's kind of nice I'm gonna get rid of this legend over here because the only legend that we believe in is maybe King Arthur or Batman those are the legends that count. Sorry, bad joke. Delete that. We're not going to use that. Now we have to go to Layout, the Layout tab, because I would like to add a axis title. Let's start with the vertical axis title, which is supposed to be rotated. There it is. I can now simply start typing. That is distance, D-I-S-T-A-C, space. In parentheses, M, the distance is in meters. Hit enter. Very nice. I would like to next put the horizontal axis in. Click. And that will be time. Space in seconds. Always put the unit in parentheses. Enter. It looks nice. If you're really obsessive, I'm going to double click here where it says distance and this little dialog shows up. I'm going to use the increase font size to increase it to perhaps 12. That'll make it easier to read. And then down here I believe I'm going to do the same thing with time. Double click to select just time and increase that to 12. Alright, that looks fine. What's next? How about if we go back to the layout tab up here and put a chart title not overlaid over the graph I think it I think it looks nicer above the chart above the graph and I'm simply going to call it distance versus time vs period time enter that's pretty nice the last thing that we need to do now is to put a trend line in here otherwise perhaps known as a best fit line I'm going to select any one of the data points, right click, add trend line. What kind of trend line do we want? Well, I think it's supposed to be a straight line. Yep. Linear is already chosen. We'll talk about the other type of trend lines later on. 
Before we leave this dialog, do remember to put to click the display equation and something called the R squared, which I'll talk about in just a moment. That's good. Oh look, there's our equation, there's the R squared value. But it's too small, I'm going to highlight all that, go back to the home page, and make that. I'm doing the increased font size, let's make it 16. Yeah, that looks right. I think that's it. We have our vertical and horizontal axes labeled. We have a title for the graph. Nice looking trend line. Uh, this equation here looks like it looks like the equation of a line. Y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope. And in this context, since we're plotting distance versus time, distance divided by time is the slope. Distance divided by time is the velocity here. Hey, that makes sense. R squared is a value that needs to be close to 1 if your data is good data. The closer it is to 1, the closer these points are to the line. 0.9888 is not too bad. I think I have a pretty good looking graph, and that is how you make a perfect graph.